This shot pretty much sums up 2020 for me. The beaches were socially distant, but not too far in the distance, the white sharks enjoyed their home. Unknown to many, for now. This is a collection of some of my favorite clips I've captured of these magnificent animals this year. Some clips you may have seen already, but I've put a few in here I've never shared before. The scenes where I film white sharks near the shore are always my favorite, usually because that's where the waters are clearest, but also because that's where I witness most sharks interacting with other wildlife. Like this shot of a shark gliding through thousands upon thousands of anchovies. Definitely one of my favorite moments. These juvenile great whites love the warmth of the shallow water. And as you can see in this clip, the sharks love riding the waves too. But in the summer, they show up in greater numbers. But there's also something else that loves the warm water in the summer. Humans and I filmed many encounters this year, such as this one with the kids in the waves, unknowingly swimming next to a shark. Don't worry, I was close enough in this instance to warn the parents who cautiously took the kids out of the water. But sometimes I'm too far away to warn anybody. And that's exactly what happened in this clip. Now you may have already watched this, but it's certainly the closest white shark and swimmer encounter I filmed in 2020. I never found out who this man is, but if you are out there, I'd love to hear about your experience and the actions you took. Initially, the swimmer did a very good job in not to panic and by keeping the shark in front of him. But if you watch the whole clip in the link above, you will see the swimmer actually swam towards the shark a couple times, rather than continue retreating to safety. The other encounters that were memorable this year involved dolphins. Often, I'd film a pot of dolphins like this, only to find a white shark nearby. If only I had a dollar every time a swimmer or surfer told me, I saw dolphins, so there's no sharks around. Nothing could be further from the truth. Here's the proof. On many occasions, I'd film scenes with sharks and dolphins interacting. Most often, they tried to avoid each other, but sometimes a shark would get curious, like in this clip. It is evident, this young white shark hasn't figured out its place in the sea yet. I cannot remember how many times I filmed dolphins, only to be surprised by a shark in the frame suddenly. Moments like this are exactly why I love filming wildlife. You never know what you will stumble upon in nature. You just have to go out there and see for yourself. Sometimes you film dolphins and sharks living in harmony near each other. Other times you find the unexpected. And on this day, what I found was something I never expected to see. This scene is easily the highlight of my year. It was a regular day filming sharks, or so I thought. What unfolded in front of my camera left me in awe and shock. I had a front row seat to an extremely rare event. As brutal and shocking as it was to witness a dolphin being torn to pieces, there was something so natural about it. Sharks are the cleaners of the ocean. This underscored that point. The dolphin, by all means, was already dead when the sharks appeared. But the ritual these animals made around this carcass 
meticulously striking it over and over again until it was gone or haunting. But it was nature in its rawest form. I'm not sure I will ever see such an encounter again. But in the meantime, I am convinced I have to learn more about them in order to continue filming them. Great white sharks have been patrolling the seas for at least 16 million years, and there's no real way to know exactly how many are out there. We are seeing more of them, but that does not necessarily mean there are more out there. Perhaps we are seeing more because we have the means to really study them from the air now. This is one of my favorite clips of the year. Scientists are now using drones to research these animals, as well as other marine life. In a way, it's the least intrusive method to do so, one that doesn't involve screws being drilled into a shark's fin. And as we film them from the air, we can really see how a shark like this decides to not attack the stingray that perhaps these sharks are not the always aggressive hungry monsters they are often portrayed as. But does that mean I want to swim right next to one in open water? Absolutely not. But I also don't want to try petting a lion either. So that's my recap for some of my favorite clips I captured this year. Please stay tuned. I've got plenty more drone footage to share in 2021. If you enjoy my shark footage, please subscribe and like. And if you'd like to learn more about sharks, I've included some informative links below as well as some links on where you can get involved in helping to protect them.